Hello, welcome to another video from AutoCraft Equipment. Today's video is going to be downloading the Texa software. So for people that have maybe replaced their laptops or tablets, um, or Texa tablet even for that matter, and want to download the software, here is how you do it. Because you don't need to go and ask for disks to install it via a disk. Most things these days are done via downloads. So to do it, you'll need to register with Texa. So <clears throat> all you need to do is go to texa.com will do. I think that's actually the Italian one rather than the UK one, but it doesn't matter, same thing. Oh, by the way, that's the new TXT that's coming out in a few months over here. Uh, a smart TXT that'll do DOIP and all sorts of stuff and pass through really well. It's gonna be a good bit of kit. So up the top of their login screen, you'll see where my mouse is moving around up there mytexa.com click on that and then you'll go to the login now if you haven't already registered with texa you ought to so go to the registration page here it'll ask you for your email set up a password your business name and address all the usual sorts of things it will also ask you for your serial number of your texa tool and your texa id number now if you haven't got your id number you can get that from your Texa retailer. So if it's Autocraft, just give us a ring. We can give that to you easily. Um, if you no longer communicate with your retailer for whatever reason, they've gone bust or you really don't like them anymore, come through us anyway if you want to. We can help you. It'll just take a little bit longer to do, but that's not a problem. So assuming you've done that and you've registered, you can then log in, log in here. So I'm going to log in. It will show you the tools that you have registered with Texa. So they're my tools. Now, along the top here, you will see Download Manager. This is what you will need to download your software. So you'll need to install their software, which I've already done. But basically, I'll just open it now so you can see what it does. close the web page behind so I've registered now with Texa or you will have registered now with Texa and again I have to log in so you log in with the details that you've just set up with Texa so when you filled in your login details log in and the first page it will come to is your software list so mine showing all the latest versions of software available I have them all obviously being a demonstrator um, you may only have truck or bike or car or whatever but it will show you the version that you will last on so let's say you've just replaced your laptop because it's smashed or you've changed from Windows 7 to Windows 10 maybe but you're running old software that's not a problem it will show you the old version of software you were on and all you will need to do at that point like if I want to install bike click the button there to install do I want to install it yes I will as I've done truck earlier today it will start downloading the bike software and I could just leave that run and install them okay so whatever is available to you on the list you can download so back to my download list in the center tab that's going to download now as I've already done the two discs for truck disc one and disc two it will de by default place them into your downloads file so I'm just gonna I'm actually gonna stop the bike one because I don't need it just to show you how to do it so delete file from this yes and we're going to go and have a look so now they're done and it says complete i can close that program down i want to go to my downloads folder so into downloads so c drive my computer downloads there and there's disk one and there is disk two what you will notice when you do this you're only gonna see a couple of files here um, it's probably better actually if I show you on the yeah I better have just bear with me one minute yeah sorry guys I'm gonna jump back a little bit because I've already opened these files um, so I'm just gonna download the smallest one I think which is probably off highway it could have been bike but it won't take me long and I'll show you what I was gonna show you so we'll leave that download and I'll be back to you in a second Okay, so now we're near the end of this download. What the system will do in a moment, will it will check the files to make sure they're okay. Now what you will need to do in a minute, once this has gone through, is 
make sure you've got WinRAR or 7-Zip. I use 7-Zip, used it for years, it's really easy. It's a little program that you're going to need. So all you need to do, if you haven't got it or you don't think you have, type in 7-Zip on Google, oops, like so, and then click on their link. It's the first one that comes up on Google, download, and then Windows 64-bit, download it. It takes literally five seconds to add the download and install. And once that's installed, you're going to need it on these files now as soon as it's finished doing it there. So that's about to finish off checking. As I said, it places these files in your download folder. So I'll open my download folder. So in here now, off highway, this is the one I was just downloading. I've already got truck there, but off highway. You will notice whatever you've downloaded, there will be an image. It's the largest file in there. So it's a disk image file and it's the biggest one in there. So what you will need to do with your WinRAR or 7-Zip as I use, right click and then come down to WinRAR or 7-Zip and then extract here. And that basically unpacks the file. It's a compressed file and it will unpack it all. And then if I scroll down to the bottom of it, you will see setup there. And that's how you start installing the software, which I will show you on the truck because I need to install it on truck. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to double click the to start. And I started it a second ago. So it's ready now. This box pops up. Install. Just agree with everything you want it to. Yes, I want it to install. And then it will very quickly install. Just follow the on-screen instructions and do what it says. It's really important to note that you must have your green HASP key, the little USB dongle, plugged in to be able to complete the install. So make sure you have that available for you. At some point, very soon, this is going to ask me to insert the second disk. Well, obviously we're not running off a disk, so we will need to show it where the second disk information is. So this is the screen now you will see. Once it's done its first section, it's now asking to enter disk number two. Before I do that, there's something I should have said earlier. When we unpacked them using um, WinZip earlier, what I didn't say to do is do both the disks or all of the disks. So let me go to there. So I only unpacked that one, if you remember, I, uh, the one of them. You need to do it on both. So if you've got two or three disks on car, make sure you unzip them all. So this one as well. I have to have them all unzipped ready. That, that one's really the big one, remember? So extract here. I think I've already done it. Yeah, I have. So I'll just do it again anyway. So make sure you've done that before this process. I'm sorry, I forgot to do that. So now it's asking me anyway to enter disk number two. So you go to the little door here. You don't just press the click because it has got no clue that you've got disk number two in there. You need to tell it because we're not using a disk. So use the door and point again your PC download this time disk 2 the one with 0 2 all I have to do is highlight it and press OK and that will now take that information from that disk and that will then complete the install soon okay so this is now ready um, in order to do this uh, standby mode of your PC so do to go to the right okay so I can just hit the tick yeah we're happy the hasp key is in there and it's connected click the tick yeah I want to continue so the little play button I'll hit that again and then it will launch the software and I have now installed truck software on my PC now depending on whether you've got a valid subscription for software updates or not it should start looking for updates automatically in the back background because all I've done is put version 50 well I know the current version is 50.7 as of today which is the 17th of Feb so what I'm going to do I'm going to go back home oh actually I can close back to the main screen where it first started let me just move that so you can see it properly and I'm going to click update check and it should find me some updates to do it has 50.7 it will do them in increments so it'll have to do 50.12345 and so on up to seven to do that as you will see when it starts picking the files from the Texas server so I'm going to let that download and I shall come back to you shortly 
So once the download has finished, you'll be presented with this screen that it's ready to be installed. Install immediately. If you're on a tablet, you'll have to have it plugged into your power supply. Um, and then continue. And it will reboot the software in a second. This will do the install now. So it closes the software down behind and it starts installing them again incrementally and it'll go up to 50.7 and then relaunch the software. So there we go, all installed. So now it just says it wants to be relaunched. Yes, I'll agree to that. And just like when you first turn it on, it fires it back up again, reboots the software and we're done. And that is how you do it. Obviously you're not going to get the software updates if you haven't got a valid subscription on your system. So it will have just installed whatever version you were on. I think I'm slightly off the screen there. Um, but that is it essentially. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. If you want some more just ask the question and we'll put on whatever it is you need if we can do it. Thanks very much and see you on the next one. Bye bye.